Hey, welcome back to another edition of Babyface Brew Review. My name's Alex. I'll be walking you guys and gals through this review for the next few moments here today. Uh, we've got a really interesting new release from Fort George Brewery uh, out of Astoria, Oregon. We're looking at their New England style pale ale. It's called City of Dreams. I uh, really don't have too much information uh, for you guys about this beer. We have some accolades and uh, an alcohol content, but no hop profile. Really not that many reviews out there either. Uh, pretty localized here to the Northwest. You can only really get Fort George. Um, beer up in Washington, Oregon, maybe parts of Idaho as well, but pretty exclusive to the Northwest. I'm sorry if you're watching from other parts of the country, but definitely a brewery to check out. Fort George makes some really, really killer beer, some really good West Coast IPAs, and they've even started to make some really, really good uh, New England style pale ales and uh, IPAs. Um, they made a really great beer. They always do a collaboration each year, three-way IPA. Last year, um, I believe it was Melvin uh, Brewing Company, Alpine, Wyoming, who's really killing it, um, and Barley Browns. It was it was fantastic. And then this year they did um, an awesome, awesome New England style uh, IPA with uh, Rubens Brews up here in Seattle, Washington, and Great Notion out of Portland, who are just absolutely killing it in terms of New England style IPAs on the West Coast. They also do some really, really good sours, so definitely check them out. But Fort George Brewing Company, Astoria, Oregon, City of Dreams, clocks in at 5.5% alcohol by volume. I don't have an IBU content. In regards to the accolades of this beer, we're looking at right around 3.8 out of 5, which is in a very good category on Beer Advocate from Untapped, looking at 3.92 out of 5 caps. So some very solid stuff, A-, minus, B+, plus, B plus range. Uh, really excited about this one with, uh, you know, New England style IPAs, I love them. Um, they're so juicy, they're so smooth and, and just delicate. Um, but I can only drink like one or two of them just because of the sweetness um, that kind of you know accumulates throughout. So I'm excited to see what a pale ale will will look like. I've had a couple of them um, in terms of the style, but but really not too much out there. So excited to to crack the cap on this one and see what we got going on on the uh, City of Dreams from Fort George. This beer is unpasteurized as well. All Fort George beer is, so you always get uh, get them in the fridge, obviously, because they can like re-ferment if they're not pasteurized. Yeah, wow. This is pouring just like three-way IPA from them this year. Uh, really, really juicy, obviously unfiltered beer. Uh, about, you know, finger and a half, beautiful head, very tightly compact, soap sudsy towards the top, no clarity in that glass, kind of pouring like a goldeny straw, uh, yellowish color, mild carbonation streaming off the bottom. I can see some yeast in the bottom of here as well that's kind of accumulated. Probably shouldn't have poured all of that in there because um, you do get some yeast that floats around, but let's get into a smell and aroma on this bad boy and see what it's all about. Yeah, really, really juicy. Wow. I get big, like, ripe grapefruit notes. I get citrus zest, citrus peel. I get some pineapple, some peach as well. Maybe a little, like, mango in there. Maybe a little bit of guava type deal. A little bit of, um, kind of get that, that yeast as well that, that they're using. Like a breadiness, maybe a little sweetness. Really juicy, very tropical fruit in there as well. Really nice smelling stuff. I get, you know, big pineapple, peach, um, great fruit out of this. Really, really nice. All right, guys and gals, cheers, pros, whatever the hell you want to call it. This is City of Dreams by Fort George Brewery. Oh, that's wonderful. And I should say, too, this beer is 12 days, uh, 10 days old. 12, 1, uh, 17, 10 days old time of recording. Really nice. Wow. Awesome stuff. Up front, I get big peach, pineapple, stone fruit notes. Um, get a little bit of citrus peel, some grapefruit in there. Middle of the mouth, I get some more kind of like a bready, almost like crackery-like sweetness in there. And then on the back end, really mild bitterness. I would say like, you know, low 40s for IBU, somewhere in there. Uh, really kind of drinking like a New England-style IPA. Tremendous glass lacing as well. Kind of finish, finishing off more of the, the mango and pineapple driving through there, along with some of the peach 
uh, peach notes as well to that. Really, really nice. I think the mouthfeel is almost my favorite part. It's very delicate. It's soft on the palate. Mild prickly carbonation really adding to the drinkability. I don't really get too much sweetness as I did in the three-way IPA, which looks very similar to this beer, to be candid. Uh, really, really nice, nice stuff. Um, as for a grade on this bad boy, I'd put it right around... Gosh... 92 out of 193. I think it's an A minus beer. I think it's great for a pale ale. I mean, could drink a few of these, I feel like, and wouldn't get kind of, um, you know, upset stomach or, or whatnot. You know, you drink a lot of the, the, the juice, the juice bombs, New England styles, hazy ones. And I just, for, for me, it kind of irritates me just the residual sweetness, um, just how sugary some of them are. Um, kind of growing up a West Coast IPA drinker, you know, real dry, bitter finish. Um, on, on those on those beers, this you know that style kind of contrasting this one, um, but I really like the fruit forward notes. Obviously, this one is really fruity, really juicy, really smooth. So ninety two from me is what it's going to be. Uh, but that's not what matters. It matters what you guys and gals think. So you can let me know down below in the comments section what you guys thought of the City of Dreams. Did you love? It? Did you hate it? If you've got some beer you want to trade with me, let me know. I can I'll, I'll get you some Fort George beer or anything in the Northwest. Here got access to great barrel aged beer from Fremont and and others up here. So let me know. Um, until next time, cheers, Prost. We will see you all again on Babyface Brew Review. Thank you so much for stopping by.